already do, do Dream Team. Team. It's your boy D Neil and Mackenzie back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with top five things we miss about Australia from the two traveling kings. Reacting to one of their videos so far. I mean, I reacted to this one, but she hasn't gotten to it yet. Yeah. Uh, before we jump in, make sure you subscribe, ring the notification bell, get a video a thumbs up so you suggest it. What we got? Hi, everyone. A Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Hope everyone's having a good holiday season. Welcome back to another video where Logan and Jenny, Jenny and Logan, of the two traveling kings. Now that we've settled down back in the US and it's coming to the end of this wild and crazy year of 2020, we've been doing a lot of reflecting back and we thought it would be fun to share with you our top five things that we miss about our life in Australia. If you're new here, we're Jenny and Logan. We're a couple of American millennials with a passion for travel. We spent two months traveling to nine different countries on our way to live in Australia for a year. We got to live and work in Sydney for a few months and really loved it. But then, COVID turned our world upside down. We had to cut our year in Australia short and head back to the US and we really don't know when we'll be able to travel again. We've been back home in the US for over six COVID effed up so many people with travel plans, man. It really did. That sucks they didn't get to enjoy their full year in Australia, man. But, I mean, what what can you do? It's weird, because, like, even when we met, COVID was a big thing, still. That's what I'm saying. And you had to wear masks on the plane. Yep. <laughs> did not lock it. Yeah. Did not lock it one and I, It's weird, because I still remember, like, us being freshly new and we still talked about like <laughs> if we had a baby we were like uh nobody can come around it. <laughs> yeah, I swear bro can't, can't take no risk no risk <laughs> <laughs> which is weird because it's like that was feels like so long ago time flies unfortunately time flies I guess that's why you gotta live in a moment every day or your life would just pass you by. It really feels like a whole lifetime ago. It's craziness, right? It's insanity. Now we're old. Facts. <laughs> Six months now, and we've gotten pretty used to our American lives again. From driving everywhere to large-sized everything, it's been pretty easy getting back into the American way of life. When we were living in Australia, it was honestly pretty easy to feel settled which is kind of strange to say considering we were moving about every month to a new Airbnb, but at the Dang. time that was just normal life for us. We got really used to our routine of riding the train, going to work, trying some new foods, drinking lots of coffee, and planning lots and lots and lots of travel for 2020. Which we will then cancel. <laughs> so because it's the end of the year, we wanted to reflect back and talk about some of the things that we miss most. Here are our top five things that we miss about our lives in Australia, in no particular order. Number one, public transport. So when we were living in Sydney, we did not buy or rent a car. We just took the train in to work every morning and it was a long train ride sometimes. We'd go from like Merrickville to ride, but it wasn't that expensive. And now that we've been back in the US and we've got our cars up and running, we have to pay for insurance gas, registration, maintenance, registration. Idols. It all just adds up. And yes, the US has public transport as well, but it's just not as easy to get around in. The bus, I think, is what we have here in Raleigh. I think that's it. You kind of need a car in the US. From a cost benefit side of things, public yeah. transport was easier for us. Number two. Yeah, we ain't never had good public transport. Mm -mm. I don't know what public, besides riding the bus to school, I don't know what public transport like. I've never been on it. No, I've never been in an Uber. you never been in an Uber? Mm -hmm. I've been in many Ubers. No, I've never even been in one. It's expensive. Unless you're going with a group, it's expensive. If you got a group of people, cheap. But if it's just you, very expensive. Adds up really quickly. Well, as a female, I would never go by myself. I feel you knocking. You might get a female Uber driver. You never know, though. <laughs> This one is going to be no surprise to anyone who keeps up with our videos, 
we missed the coffee. Shocker. Mm -hmm. And a lot of you in the comments have been giving us really good advice about different espresso machines to buy so that we can make our own flat whites at home. We have not invested in one yet, but we missed the coffee a whole lot. Ooh. It was just so convenient to go to a local cafe, pay two, three dollars and have really awesome coffee. And That's number so three, the friends we made. So when we were going over to Australia, we had a few friends already there. But through work and Airbnb, we made some really good friends and we do miss them a lot. Still keep up through YouTube comments and everything, hey. all the social media, so it's nice to stay in touch with them. We're lucky that we're in a day and age where you can keep in touch with people pretty easily through social media and WhatsApp and all of that. But Thanks. yeah, those of you who know who you are, we miss you lots. A quick shout out to Scott and Lisa, our fantastic Airbnb hosts in Merrickville. Hey made us feel at home during the crazy pandemic time. <laughs> I became more like a family during that time, so. Miss you guys. Coming in at number four. That's so <laughs> cool. I feel like I've never been like that open to people to like live with strangers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. There's something weird about me that I'm just like more antisocial, more I don't like being around people that I don't know. Yeah. I feel that. Me too. <laughs> and it's weird because like once you become my friend, I'm I work I we tight, but before then I'm like I don't talk much, I don't I just chill off to myself. Even though on the YouTube I may seem like a very like positive, happy go lucky, never like never shy about anything. In person I'm more antisocial. Still positive, still happy go lucky, but more antisocial then. Yeah, I feel like when I first met him, I kinda just thought that that was how he was going to be. It's like <laughs> very like forward and not shy at all. And I felt like when I first met him, I didn't think that he um was shy because I guess I was just so much more shyer yeah. than he was. Yeah. So it just didn't come off as shy. But, like, being together all the time, like, I do see, like, the shyness in him of, like, some of the things that we do or, like, something that involves him, like, maybe asking somebody something or, like, no. talking to somebody and, like, no, I see the shyness in him. I'm like, that's, that's it. That's yeah. what it is. <laughs> I, I'll tell you, I don't like it, bro. I wish that I wasn't so shy. Like, I want to be, like, a person who doesn't meet a stranger. But, like, I'm not that person. <laughs> <laughs> which is just like weird though it is because like i'm just shy in general i feel yeah. like I've, i'm starting to come more out of my shell on youtube but yeah. he's just like so forward with you guys more than i am yeah i know he's been doing it a long time but that's what it is. the way he is with y'all is not the way that he is with like <laughs> people in person yeah i feel like i've gotten very comfortable in front of the camera and so, like, yeah, I can just be, like, <laughs> however childish, however goofy, or however, whatever I want to be. You feel me? Yeah. But, yeah, in person, I, I don't know. I don't, I hate that, like, I'm shy like that, but it happens. I'm not, like, deathly shy where, like, I can't do something. Yeah. But it's, like, I'm going to be nervous about doing it. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that's where me and him, like, look at, like, the YouTube job different. It's, like, to him, like... He's talking to y'all, but, like, he feels like he's, like, just alone with a camera. Yeah. Whereas, like, me, like, I don't just consider, like, we're alone with the camera. Like, I've gotten comfortable with the camera. Yeah. But I don't just consider this a camera. I'm like, I know people are going to see this. <laughs> 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 and that's where it gets me. That's where my shyness kicks in because I'm like, it's not just a camera. You can tell me it's just a camera, but it's yeah. not just a camera. Yeah. <laughs> this is, like, the internet. See, yeah, to me, like, I... To me, like, I know people are going to watch, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, in this room right now, I'm like, it's only us and a camera. But if, like, there was one person standing at the door watching us, I'd be a little more shy than I am. He like, is, because, right like, uh, I'll try to, like, open up the blinds. And he's like, no, people can see us. People can see us. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. <laughs> It just take one person to be like watching in person, and I'm like, I don't know, I'm much but, shyer. But and the than thing I is, know. this man wants to be famous. I do want to be he famous. Wants to, he wants to uh, be on TV. He wants to, you know, do all that, and it's like, 
you can't even let the blinds be open at home. <laughs> the way I see it is, daughter say, if I get famous, I'll adjust to the fame. You feel me? And yeah, I'll adjust to the fame. But yeah, till you get stage fright. That's true. That's true. I don't. Know. <laughs> I, don't know. I still I want to be famous still, but uh, not like Taylor Swift type famous. Because then I feel like you can't live your life without people always like, you know what I'm saying? Okay, but you're like... I want to be like... One of your dreams, though, is like to have somebody just like see you out on the street or in the yes. store and just recognize you and come up yes. to you and be like, you know, I'm a fan. Yes. But how do you plan on dealing with that if you're shy? I think if somebody approaches me, like I'm good at like being happy and smiling and all I, I give back the energy that's given to me. So I feed off your energy. You feel? If you come to me like all oh, happy and excited, I'm giving you happy and excited back. Like, you come shy, I'm giving you shy. Like, so. I feel like that is one thing I've noticed about you is like, a lot of times, like, people will come up to him and like talk to him because he, like, wears anime. Yes. And so, like, he will talk back and like, there, it feels like there's no like shyness there. But. If we're at the grocery store and I'm like, hey, will you go ask somebody like where something is? He's like, well, you do it. <laughs> I, I'll find it myself. God dang it. I need that. <laughs> yeah, I hear you like, it's okay. I'll go look for it. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I don't know what that is. I don't know why that is, but yeah, I just, I live Or be like, hey, we go energy. up and ask them like how much this is. Or like, hey, will you go ask them? No. You can't do it. <laughs> That's what he'd be saying to me. You want, can't do it. <laughs> I don't want to talk to him. <laughs> Easy. I don't want to. <laughs> I had to talk to when I had to call IRS about some taxes. I don't like doing that, bro. But the money, I wanted the money more than I didn't like talking to people. See, I feel so. like when he did that yesterday, honestly, the whole time I just thought about like if it required me having a video chat. Yeah. That money's gone. I was shy, but I was like, "Yeah, bro, I, I need this money. I can't give up. So if I got a video chat for a little bit, then who I got to talk to, you feel no, me? No, because I'm telling you, when I had to make my first doctor's appointment, I literally was like, that's fine. I don't need to go. It's not that big of a deal. Because <laughs> well, at first I thought, okay, I'll make an appointment online. Some places you can. I'll yeah. make an appointment online. Couldn't do that. You have to call. Yeah. You beat me. <laughs> I ain't making one. See, I'm not that way. Like, I'll if the, I'd much prefer to do it online and not talk to somebody. But if I have to talk to somebody, then I'll talk to them. No, if that's what it takes, then I gotta talk to somebody. I just no, because when up. I had to make me an appointment to get my glasses, bro, and they were asking me all these insurance questions and oh yeah, yeah, this, I this hate and that, that, and I was that, like, I know. just hung up, bro. Don't know. I literally hung up. I was like, you know what? I don't need glasses. It's okay. That's how I was. I had to go. Couldn't in. see, but I don't yeah. need glasses. I had to go into a dentist one time, and it was like the exact same. And I was like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> I'm like, this is. I've been under my dad insurance for so long. I was, he handled all the insurance stuff. I don't know what you want me to put Right. In. And that was my thing. Is like, you know, growing up, you know, parents always made your appointments for mm-hmm. everything. And. So now I'm an adult and I've, you know, my eyesight started getting a little bit bad. So I'm like, I need glasses. Yeah. So I'm like, asking my mom, like, how you make an appointment? <laughs> She's like, you got to call. And I was just like, you can't do it for me. You See, don't want to? Uh-uh. She's uh-uh. like, you're grown, Kenzie. Uh-uh. So as soon as they start asking me about insurance, I hung up. Once we have a kid, you're going to have to snap out of it. And you know how I got these glasses? My parents made the appointment. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna have to be the one setting up appointments in the future. I know. I feel like I'm starting to come more yeah, out of my shell. I feel like you'll be good. Like once it's for our kids, like I don't feel like it's nothing that you won't be able to do. Yeah. You ready to get back to this video? Yes. <laughs> <clears throat> The authentic Asian food. We really do miss that. I think a big difference, at least that we're figuring out here in Raleigh, is that there are restaurants that will do some Thai or some, you know, Malaysian, Japanese sushi, sushi, but they tend to mush it all together so it's like Asian restaurant and it's your basic generic dishes. What I really miss about Australia is that there was a dedicated Vietnamese restaurant, a dedicated 
Japanese restaurant, even just dumplings. Dumplings, dim sum. Yeah, and Thai, and the quality is just a lot different here, at least from what we've been able to find so far. We'll keep searching. Yeah, we're gonna keep searching and trying. I mean, we're still new here and trying to figure it out. And coming in at number five is cheap slash normal priced Vegemite. So as you might have seen in our other videos, we actually enjoy Vegemite as Americans because we were taught how to uh, eat it properly on toast. So we still have it here in the US. We'll have some Vegemite with avocado, just plain Vegemite toast. We tried that. Somebody suggested that in the comments and it's really good. And we're still working on our big jar of Vegemite that we brought back from Sydney. But we saw how expensive it is in the grocery stores here and it's not cheap. It is $7.99 US dollars for about eight ounces of Vegemite and that converts to almost 11 Aussie dollars for almost eight ounces of Vegemite, the tiniest little guy that you can get. No, we're not saying ship us a bunch of Vegemite. We don't need it that much. Um, I mean, I wouldn't complain. It is a bit much. <laughs> it is, and we really that came to the forefront because I don't know if you remember the video where we had my dad try it. Totally fine. All right. My dad has become the biggest fan of Vegemite. Ever no. lather. His oh my it. god. So he ran out of the jar we brought home for him and he was looking for it and that's when we couldn't believe how expensive it was here. It's worth it though. It is worth it. We love it. That's our quick little holiday video. It ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. You can pay me to eat it. Yeah, I feel like I have to try it. You got it alright. I'm we gonna get her some Vegemite so so y'all can see her try Vegemite. And I can see it. Maybe I'm just the one that's in the wrong. Maybe I'm tripping. You feel me? Yes. Because the thing is, if I like it, it's got to be good, to be honest. Because I'm super, super picky. Like, he eats pretty stuff. much about anything, but. Yeah, but a lot of stuff that you like, I won't eat. Which is why we're opposites. Which is why I'm <laughs> saying, if, if I like it, it's got to be good because I'm picky. And if he don't like it. <clears throat> I don't know. That makes me feel like I'm not going to like it. But like I said, we're opposites and we like very different things. Yes. Opposites and everything. Like our grocery list is hard to make. Yes. Extremely yes. hard. Agreed. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> you know, just a reflection back on what we missed from our life in Australia. We hope you enjoyed. Let us know your thoughts on our top five in the comments. If you have yet to subscribe, please be sure to hit the subscribe button and like on this video if you found it entertaining. All the interaction with our channel really helps it out, so we would really appreciate it. So happy holidays everyone, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Hope everyone's safe, healthy, and happy, and we'll see you in the next video. In the new year. And that's all we got. Uh, you got anything left to say? Mm -mm. Make sure y'all subscribe, ring notification bell, the video thumbs up. We out.